Hello friends, welcome to the prayer time of e-comfort zone. The word of God tells us in Philippians chapter 4 and verse 6, do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God. It is always a privilege to come before the Lord because of his mercy, his protection, his providence that we have enjoyed during the last week. We thank the Lord for answering our prayers. We are glad to hear that the Lord is answering your prayers. I want to assure you that you all are in our prayers. And we trust that the Lord according to his immeasurable wisdom, will answer the prayers in his own time. Today in our prayer session, we will specially remember all those senior citizens. We will also remember the countries where pandemic is raising a loud cry. Please join me in this brief prayer session. Let us pray. Our most gracious, eternal God, the creator of this universe, the sustainer of this universe, we praise you, we worship you, we fall prostrate before you for your grace and your mercies. We want to praise you for your character of love. The love which has given us the opportunity to know you and to come before you. We want to thank you for this method of communication, this mode of communication to you, and that is prayer. We want to thank you that you have given us this privilege of prayer by which we come before your throne of grace Acknowledge our limitations. Acknowledge the fact that we are the sinners and we do not have any credentials by which we can call you as our God, as our Father. But it is just by your grace. It is because of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. We have this privilege. We have this access before your throne of grace and bring our petitions, bring our requests, bring our supplications, bring our praises and thanks to you. We want to thank you for your mercies, for your providence and for your protection that you have showered upon us. Many times, all these daily things of our life, our food, our clothing, our shelter, we take them granted, not acknowledging the fact that they all are the blessings from you. Lord, today, as we stand before your throne of grace, we say, Lord, thank you for providing all these things. Thank you for providing our food, clothing, shelter. Thank you for everything that we enjoy around us. Thank you for the nature. Thank you for the friends. Thank you for the good neighbors. Thank you for our relatives. Thank you for the opportunity to worship you, to know you. Today, as we come to you, we want to bring our supplications. We want to bring our petitions before you, Lord. There are many of our friends who are struggling for several reasons. One of the primary reasons that has turned the whole thing upside down is this pandemic situation. People, families, they're experiencing death. Oh Lord, I pray that may you stand by those very families. May you comfort them, oh Lord. May you strengthen them, oh Lord. Help them to understand that though the devil has snatched away their dear ones, there is a day when we all will be united again and there'll be no sorrows, no tears, no death. 
Lord God Almighty Father, we pray for those families who have lost their source of income. We pray that may you help them, provide them all, all that they need. We want to pray for those families where there is disturbance, where the families are in trouble and some may be even at the verge of breaking down. We pray that may you intervene in those situations and help them, O oh Lord, unite the family. Let not devil have his victory over all those situations. We want to pray also, Father, very specially for the senior citizens. Some may be our parents, some may be our relatives, some may be our neighbors, friends, countrymen, oh Lord, whoever it is. Today, they are vulnerable to this pandemic. We hear the news of losing all those dear ones of ours, O oh Lord. We pray, O oh Lord, that may you protect all the senior citizens in each and every family. Save them, O oh Lord, protect them, O oh Lord. We pray for those countries where death has become a common word because of this pandemic, oh Lord, those countries are struggling. Lord, forgive us our sins, oh Lord, and intervene in those situations. Save those countries, oh Lord. Whatever the shortcomings in terms of medical support or any other kind of support. Lord, we pray that you provide everything, O oh Lord. Help those countries to fight against this pandemic and win over the situation, Lord God. Have mercy, O oh Lord. Have mercy. We pray for those medical team, the whole medical fraternity who are working hours and hours together without any rest, without any respite. We pray that you anoint them with your special strength and special power, oh Lord. So that as they serve the humanity, their lives will be protected. Their lives will be safe, O oh Lord God. Have mercy, O oh Lord God, have mercy. We want to thank you for the wisdom that you have given for the dis discovery of the vaccines. Pray that may that medicine May the vaccine reach to every human being. Whatever may be the hurdles, we pray that you remove them. Father Almighty, you are our solution. And we come in this whole pandemic situation into your hand, O Lord. Into your heart and pray that help us to come out from this situation. God Almighty Father, have mercy, O oh Lord God, have mercy. Forgive our sins, O oh Lord, and have mercy. We need your mercy, O oh Lord. We need your grace, O oh Lord God. Pray that you have. We ask this prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for joining me. We would love to pray for you, pray with you. Please feel free to send your prayer request to us.
we have given our contact information on the screen. And I can assure you of full confidentiality. As usual, before I close this episode, let me leave a text for all of us. It comes from the book of Exodus chapter 14 and verse 14. The Lord will fight for you. You need only to be still. Let me read it once again. The Lord will fight for you. You need only to be still. Friends, let us be still before the throne of grace. God bless you all.